A jury has reached a verdict in one of Chicago's most horrific murder cases. Six people, including two children, killed in their family home. Today, that jury found a family member guilty for those deaths. CBS 2's Lauren Victory live for us at the Layton Criminal Court building with the latest on that decision. Lauren? Hi there, Marie and Joe. Well, the jury deliberated for at least 10 hours in this case, coming to a conclusion just moments ago, guilty of first degree murder on all six counts. The defendant stared straight ahead as the judge told him the next steps, which is his sentencing on November 7th. He faces life in prison. Here's a recap of the case. Police made the traumatizing discovery more than six years ago, a well-being check that turned into a multi-murder crime scene in Gage Park. Six members of the Martinez family were dead, most of them stabbed multiple times. Investigators suspected then, in February 2016, that their killer or killers knew them because none of the victims were found restrained. Four months later, police arrested Diego Uribe and his then-girlfriend, Jafeth Ramos, charging them with six counts of murder each. They said Uribe, a cousin and nephew of the victims, tried to take money from his family, but the robbery morphed into a rampage. Among those murdered, 13-year-old Leonardo Cruz and his 10-year-old brother, Alexis. Investigators say DNA tests linked Uribe to the crime. They said cell phone records connected him and Ramos to the scene as well. Both suspects confessed to police. The jury was able to watch video of statements Uribe made while in custody. Also adding to the case against Uribe, Ramos took a plea deal in exchange for testimony against her former boyfriend. We heard from the father of the two young boys killed just a few moments ago. He was tearing up, of course, and he told us in Spanish that this was not easy, but he never doubted that there would be justice for his sons. Reporting live at the Leighton Criminal Court building, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. What a tragedy, Lauren. Thank you for the update.